okay guys to root this device i have selected some prerequisites and i will be walking you through the entire procedure so bear with me for the next few minutes so first of all this device is samsung p double two five also known as samsung galaxy tab a7 Lite, and it was widely distributed in india recently so rooting it is uh, a necessary procedure in case if you want full control over the device but one more thing is that since this device is a mediatek device the support isn't really that great so let's go so first of all the image file <coughs> This file we'll be using it to flash and let me show you so right now if you go to settings about tab and software software information you can see your current information about the running software so mine is au j1 and the patch is kind of old as well so the first thing we need to do is to download the same firmware that is your device is currently flashed to and since mine is AUJ1, I will be downloading this one. And one more thing, uh, if your device is AU11, then I recommend to exercise caution as I have heard that developers patched an important, important exploit that we will be using further to disable lock security. Else you might get into a loop. So keep it in mind and uh, okay, download. Okay, so since I've already downloaded, I won't be downloading it again. We can skip this part. Thank you. Okay. Now the Magisk APK. Uh, let me show you my phone. We have already installed this application and <coughs> we will be using it to patch the firmware. And then we have our good old Odin and the drivers. And obviously we will be uh, needing an unlocked OEM to proceed and obviously uh, it will be wise to remove any existing Google account to kill any chances of Google tri triggering its FR FRP protection. So once your file is downloaded, you have to you will get something like this and it's a file. You have to extract it and then you will get this. So this is the file you will get except this one. Since I've already completed the procedure, I already have this file and I will be showing you how to get it. So what we are going to do is we are going to take this AP file. This is the file that contains the major primary software. Uh, copy it. I will have connected my tablet and downloads and paste it. So you can see I have already pasted the file. So now let's head back to our tablet. In the tablet, I will choose install. Select a patch file, the AP file, and let's go. So once it, it is done, it will give you a complete message stating that it has saved the output to the download folder or whichever folder he picked the file from. Since I've again, as yeah, I've already completed the procedure, I have the file. All you have to do is to wait. In a minute or two, Magic will give you your output about it. Okay, so now we have this magic patch file. Uh, we will be taking it back to our download section and again paste it. So, since I've already done it, I won't be doing it twice. And now let's move on to the flashing procedure. <clears throat> so, uh, before you begin the flash, you have to put your phone into download mode. I will be showing you how to do it, but before it, let's load all the files. BL file goes to BL. Okay. And the AP file. So uh, you don't have to take this file. Uh, you take this file only if you are flashing the stock firmware. But right now, since we are planning to flash the firmware that has been matched, uh, that is been, uh, patched with Magisk, we will be using this file. And uh, okay, then CP goes right here. And then the CAC. So there are two files, CAC and the home CAC. If you are wondering what's the difference, are uh, I guess the CAC, home CAC doesn't. Uh, I guess CAC <coughs> wipes the cache partition and the CAC uh, doesn't. So I will be going with home CAC. It uh, doesn't really makes any difference. So no problem. Okay, so Odin is loaded. Our tablet is ready. 
I hope you have already unlocked the OEM. You just have to go to developer settings and tap on this thing. So now I will be showing you how to boot your device into download mode. It is a important procedure. But again, before uh, I we proceed, I uh, I ask you to confirm that you are clashing the correct firmware. I mean, because if your firmware is not correct, then you might get into trouble as this device might get bricked and then uh, it kind of gets difficult to recover from it. Mine got bricked, but I was able to do. So it's not really a big deal, but yes, it will cause trouble. So now we will be booting our device into download mode. So the procedure is simple. You shut down the device completely, disconnect it from any computer, and then you hold the both the volume up key and the low key and then connect the cable or uh, wait for a few seconds and then you will be into the download mode let me show you okay to boot this device into download mode the procedure is simple you just hold both the volume up and vo volume down key while your data cable is connected to the laptop and just plug it in hold for 10 seconds it will power up soon Okay, just then uh, when you see the screen, press volume up. And as you can see, uh, the download mode is enabled. So once you have booted your phone into download mode, you simply connect it to your PC. Oh, here I am doing. It will be detected and okay. Then we can press start. So now it is flashing the file. It will take uh, some time, uh, four to five minutes, and then the phone will be uh, booted up. But uh, remember, again, the boot uh, booting up takes time, and you don't have to do a thing. Just leave your phone idle as as long as the welcome screen isn't being shown up. And once the screen is being shown, you have to you will be greeted, and then the the second step that is okay let's see uh, currently we have okay patch the file flash we are currently flashing the firmware now comes the disabling the knocks thing okay this is a kind of a lengthy procedure and i have already made a video on it so obviously i won't be making it again follow this and because uh, if you don't disable the knocks your device won't be able to boot as boot uh, as knocks will interfere and uh, uh, you won't be able to do anything so you have to make sure that you follow the video properly and disable locks and then uh, once this is complete the procedure is almost simple i will be showing you once i'm done with this okay okay guys so this is my device i have finally booted back after flashing the patched firmware so actually i got into some trouble as i accidentally locked my bootloader so you have to unlock your bootloader and then flash uh, this unofficial firmware else you will get error so i will be putting a link in the description you don't have to worry about it so let's get ahead uh, so currently we have did the entire thing i did this thing without recording because i have already i did, already did a video on this so now the last bit it is really easy we just have to move to the magisk let us see as you can see this thing okay yep let it complete and give it all the permission you it has all
just let it do its thing uh, you don't really have to worry about it watching the video okay so it got installed let's see So yeah, it will require some additional setup and then it will reboot. So let me reboot the device. Okay, so my device rebooted and So as you can see, it is doing uninstalled matches, which means matches is actually installed. But still, for your complete satisfaction, let me run a uh, root checker application. So there should be a magisk request, let's see. Yep, granted. Okay, so as you can see, the device got successfully rooted. And this is, uh, I should agree that this is a lengthy process, but I, uh, it is worth the time. And uh, as a final verdict, I will say that since this device doesn't really have much support, I don't really recommend routing it. I have already routed it once and I didn't really find it very useful. But still, if you have, uh, want to, you can go ahead and if you just uh, make sure that uh, ensure the basics, then you don't really have to worry about booting, uh, I mean, breaking your device. Uh, so, okay, that will be all. Thank you.